says, is a coping mechanism. My ability to make things, to tell stories, and to form images out of nothing was always my dearest companion. Some people have a love-hate relationship with their talent, always judging themselves and worrying if they're good enough. I've never ever had that internal problem. My ability to express myself in various mediums is my best friend. My release, my joy, my entire sense of self. I'm always reaching for something new, always delighted to experiment. And those are words that any one of you out there who wants to push your own boundaries can take. Embrace your creativity, love it, let it loose, no matter what anybody else may try to tell you differently. Um, she has found many different ways over the years to express the creativity. When she was a teenager, she discovered the uh, works of Michael Moorcock, particularly the, the Stormbreaker stories, which he wrote at age 19, and so they're full of dark teenage angst. <laughs> with which she resonated tremendously, and she wanted to do a Stormbringer project. She had the notion. She wanted to take this novel and turn it into some kind of movie. In cinema, what I just said is called a meatloaf. Watch for it. Um, okay. She started just drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing all sorts of scenes from Stronger. She wanted to make her own film from this. Now, it was too big a project to do, so she kept all the drawings, and years later, uh, we published those in this book, Law and Chaos. The book was the best thing that we could do with, uh, with her Stormbringer drawings at that time. Now, much more recently, and, and he's sitting back there watching, uh, she pushed the boundaries of her creativity in the direction of a completely innovative retelling of Mask of the Red Death. Poe's story was eight pages long. It wasn't even really a story. It was just more like a, a, a tone poem, a mood piece. And uh, she took it and said, no, I'm going to create a whole world around it. I'm going to populate that world with many, many characters. I'm going to make it dark. I'm going to make it sexy. I'm going to make it erotic. I'm going to make it mature. And I'm going to see, and it's futuristic and science fictional. And I'm going to see where this goes. And that's what she's been doing. Uh, it is set in, not in a medieval castle, but in a future science fictional city. Um, the characters, Poe could never have imagined these characters. Um, and if you want to see more of what this is all about, uh, uh, go to, the easiest way to refer is to go to elfquest.com and there's a link on the Elfquest homepage to Mask of the Red Death and that'll take you to the webcomic that she created as sort of a parallel to the book that's coming out in October. And, um, uh, you can see that not only is it just a wet coming of panels of art and dialogue, but it is also uh, an animated web comic. Uh, there was another meatloaf. Um, uh, but mostly what she has been doing to push the boundaries of creativity is, is what probably most of you here know, and that's this little thing called ElfQuest. Which, uh, Yeah, it's been keeping us off the streets for 30 years, <laughs> but not out of trouble. Uh, and as I'm sure you know, it is about elves who are on a quest, which if you needed one sentence for it, uh, Cutter is the leader and he is very fiercely protective of his tribe's mates and they go through hell and high water or heck and high water if, if there are underage kids here. Um, uh, and, and they have adventures and find love and romance and, and stuff. And, and, and at least the original story is, is the quest for them to find their ancestral home. Uh, now, you've known it as a comic book because back in 1978 when we started it, a comic book was the best format that we could do. Um, 
we sat down, Wendy said, how's the best way to do this? Well, you know, we'd really like a movie, but that's impossible. And if it's a prose novel, then you're not seeing her spectacular art and the facial expressions and all of that. But a comic book, as Will Eisner first and, and, and best pointed out, is, is the perfect melding of words and pictures. Um, and over the years, it has it, it expanded from comic books to, to other to graphic novels, to, to novelizations, to music, uh, all sorts of different formats. Um, but, you know, the, uh, the very, very first and best uh, notion of what ElfQuest would be, because we've, we've really been on a 30-year detour. Everything you've read was not intended. You've read comics, you've read books. That's not how it was first envisioned. It was first envisioned as, well, yeah, it's not going to show either. It was envisioned as animation. And, I, and you know, forgive me for, for screwing up the PowerPoint, but you know, it's Microsoft and I'm on a Mac and I'm <laughs> with it. Um, We've wanted a movie all the time. You've wanted a movie all the time. There have been some trips to the altar where we got jilted. Uh, but only literally a couple of weeks ago did we get the news that uh, Warner Brothers had picked up the option for Northwest. We've never been quite here before. Uh, we like to think that all of those others were dress rehearsals and sort of small potatoes. This, this, is, this is the big time for us and, and for ElfQuest. Uh, another reason that this is different from all previous is, if you look down in the, the lower left corner there, you see this good looking guy. Uh, his name is Rawson Thurber. Now that name may mean something to you, it may not. Uh, Rawson is the director who is attached to the ElfQuest project. If the name doesn't mean anything to you, he is best known as the director of <laughs> the project. That's good. with him <laughs> and of course the question has come up is of the animated live live action CGI whatever he has assured us that, that that he knows exactly how you want to see this film and that's what he's going to give us <laughs> because that special guest panelist is Rawson Thurber, and it wasn't his time to be up here. Now, it is his time to be up here, so Rawson, where are you? Director of the ElfQuest film. <laughs> <laughs> 